Logan. Yeah. Are you a good boy? No, I do. I do boy. You don't know? <laughs> so let me tell you what happened. My shirt's on backwards. I don't care. So I'm going to the gym. I'm working out. You know, I'm losing a little bit of weight. Getting toned. So two days ago, I go in the backyard to put a blanket on the pig. And I'm like opening the blanket. And I felt something like in my back, like electrocute me. And I crumpled to the floor. I couldn't move for like 18 hours. My kids had to like drag me from the backyard and over the threshold. I had to sleep on the ground. My son... They put like a pallet next to me and let my son sleep next to me because of course he wants to sleep next to me. My husband's in San Francisco because it's not the day that he's supposed to be here. I finally called him in the middle of the night so you got to come back. So he came. I was like paralyzed. I'm finally better. It's been three days. I've never hurt my back like I have before. I don't know if I strained a ligament, pulled a ligament, slipped a disc, whatever the hell happened. It was like I, would, I had fallen and I couldn't get up. Just like that commercial. Worst pain in my life. But anyways, I've been getting a lot of stuff on Amazon so... And um, I'm in my closet, but I'm going to show you what I got. Got some beauty supplies, some clothes, some cute new shoes. Let me start with the shoes because these are probably the most expensive item and the cutest. So I got these New Balance, super cute. Now, they're like half size bigger than I usually wear. But I figure they're going to be super cute with a little sweatsuit. So I got these from a company called Little Suave. And they've been listed for like... Up to like $400 down to like $200. And I think I paid like $240 for those. Super cute. I don't know why New Balance has the nerve to charge so much. I remember back in the day, everyone back east used to wear a lot of New Balance and Reeboks. But they never really hit like, for me, San Francisco the way they hit the East Coast. So I got those. Then I got some new. This little box. I purchased before from this Amazon shop, but it came in a good little cute little box. I like packaging like this. Like I could totally reuse this for my binder rings, but I got some clip-ins. These were kind of expensive. I think they were like $70, but like I have very, very fine hair. I have thinning hair. I have alopecia. I basically have no hair. Okay. But, um, yeah, so just look, matches, right? I could do a little bun, and it's all different. Like one day, if you want to have like lengths like this, my hair, this is the, my my natural wave pattern is just like this. So if you want to have it like this, you can put it just a bunch of ones because I was experimenting with my hair and I dyed it kind of light. So I like to have different colors of um clip-ins like I have brown I have dark brown and I have honey blonde so that's cute I would definitely wear these and because you know like clip-ins after a while they get like dried up and because they're not attached to the roots so they're not getting natural oils from the scalp so eventually they turn really brittle that's kind of like how my natural hair is too really brittle and dry so anyways I got those two then I got um, a new doctor pen attachment because I like to do microneedling right this is a doctor pen attachment you just put this in and zzz, zzz, microneedle um, and what I like to microneedle is my own blood I like to do PRP I actually draw my own blood so I ordered more of these so I can draw my own blood so I ordered more of these so I can draw my own blood, do my own PRP. Then I also got some more meso tips because sometimes I like to either micro needle my PRP into my face or I like to inject it with these small little needles, like under the eyes, under the skin, just really like lightly, not enough to even draw blood, just like lightly under the skin, kind of like plumps you up. So I got some more meso tips. I usually buy them off Amazon get way more but I just spent like two dollars and got some mezzo tips so this is part of the microneedling and PRP process another beauty product actually they sent me were these um, ultra hydrating 
face masks. I don't, my daughter likes to use them. I never even use them, but I might after a microneedling sesh. Like this one says stem cell. You're right. But they're still cooling. So I did get some threads. I like to use threads. My camera's kind of crooked. But I like to use threads. Small ones. And I put them right under my eyes to kind of plump them so I don't need filler. I don't use any fillers on my face. I just love a little bit on my lips, but none on my face. But I do like to use threads. And it kind of plumps them up. So if you have like a hollow, it plumps them up. You get what I'm saying? So I did a little bit of that. I mean, I'm going to do a little bit of that. And I do it periodically, like every three or four months. So I got two sizes. I think 12 millimeter and 25 length. So I got some threads. Excited to use these. Do you guys know what threads look like? Let me show you. But... Looks like this. And there's like a little tiny little filament. It's like a, a suture. And you put it under your skin and it, it's kind of like building scar tissue. That's a layman's way to put it. You're building scar tissue, but you're also building collagen. You're plumping up the area so it's not as like flaccid and loose. There's no hollow. I got some threads. All right, so that's about it for the beauty treatment. Next thing I got was these cute leggings. So I'm going to try on everything from Sheen. My daughter's like, you shouldn't buy from Sheen. I'm like, look. Are you paying my bills? No. You want to buy me some more Lululemons? <laughs> they bought me Lululemon for Christmas, but so I'm going to try these on. But I actually know my back hurts. I can't even try these on for you guys, but I know they're going to be cute and they're going to be super snatched. I have something like this already in blue and they're cute. I just feel like this waist is a little big. Like my waist is smaller since I had a mommy makeover. I do have a small waist. So I got these two. So it's purple camo and black leopard. Okay, so the next thing I got was this little outfit. I'm going to try it on for you. It was from Amazon. I was really wanted to buy the Joa Brown. I just can't see myself spending that much on loungewear. Like, I don't think sweats are worth $150. I don't think a sweatshirt is worth $120. I mean, this is like jersey material. This, I mean, this is like sweatshirt material. It should not be that much overpriced. So I still haven't bought bit the bullet for Joa Brown. But I did get something like a little sweat outfit I'm going to show you. And then Naked Wardrobe. I love Naked Wardrobe. Their clothes snatch you. So if I if my back's not hurting too much, I'm going to show you what these look like. Hold on. Okay, never mind. These blue ones, they do not work. So let me try the other pair. Okay, these are cute. My back hurts, but... Actually, no. These are not right. These aren't cute. Because usually they're supposed to, like, make your butt look like a little peach. These are kind of, like, not cute. So, yeah, my daughter was right. I shouldn't have got those from Sheen. One thing about Naked Wardrobe is it just, like, compresses you. It sucks you in. There's no cellulite. Look how cute the shoes look. Let me show you. Look how cute the shoes look. See? And look. No cellulite, no nothing. It's like... That's why I love Naked Wardrobe. You pay a little bit more, but the material is like super um, thick. So in this little bag, I have all my DIY beauty stuff. I have my syringes for my Botox. I have my vacutainers for the um, PRP. I have the these long needle tips, which help draw the PRP, um, helps draw the correct part out of the blood so you can do your PRP. And um, and when I, I screw those onto these tubes, then I have the little meso tips, tinier meso tips, um, tourniquets, threads, sheet masks, um, vacutainer, tubes for PRP, numbing cream, tapes, gauze. Yeah. Oh, this one too I like to use. But anyways, yeah. My little, my little kit. Oh, and then I got the gloves. I don't like to use gloves a lot. I just like to wash my hands, but sometimes I'll use gloves. 
I can do a lot of stuff with this box. Use one little clip in right here. See, so put a little bit like here. Oh, look at this frame. $1,700. This thing is cute for $1,700. But I like the inside, how old it looks. Yeah. I like this frame too, but I, I think I just. I'm just going to be looking, guys, okay? It won't take too long. I'm looking for 8x10 frames, hey guys? Like vintage old looking frame. Oh, look at those Eskimo. Um, That's so cute. Yeah, look at this old hat. Somebody used to wear this to church. I like this, $86, so. That's probably the real height. Taller. Look at this nice old dresser. Look at the marble top. Oh, it's someone's family photos. Old fashioned scrapbook, huh? Yeah, that's so cute. This for my son, that's $287, all those bugs. So happy we got these, look, watch. And then you can have them all the way down and closed or just put them up. So that way when we're going up the stairs, I can walk naked across the second floor and the neighbors across the street won't be able to see me from their balcony. Okay, I was so excited for these to come. These are called zebra blinds and I actually hate them. They're going, like I can't return them cause it's custom, but I like them cause you can have like 
partially clear or all the way open. I just don't like this shiny plastic. I don't like the way that looks. Plus, I didn't order them long enough. So I ordered Roman shades, which is gonna be nice because it's gonna be like a woven texture like that. So I'm gonna be replacing those next week. Okay, so I went to, oh my gosh, we went to um, Ulta, which is cheaper than Sephora, but it was still like 400 and something dollars. I got two Tula products. I got this vitamin C. I can make vitamin C cream, but I just been super lazy. So let's see how it works. I guess you pump it like this. Okay. Has a typical vitamin C color tint to it. Vitamin C creams will make products orange. So will retinol. It's like they oxidize so quickly. So. Smells good. Thing about Tula products, which a lot of people say is that they have too much um, fragrances, which I do detect. Then I also got the night cream, which has a bit of a fragrance. So I guess I'll definitely have to go in with some sunblock after. So my Elta for my melasma, which is pretty bad here, here and here. Ever since I moved out here and spent my summers out here in the sun, my melasma got pretty bad. But so I got the Tula. You know, and I'm so glad I don't like buy a lot of makeup because it's fucking expensive. So I got that. And I also got this like ColourPop little lippy. Whatever. But I want to show you a little hack I figured out. Hold on. I want to show you this hack. Are you guys into layering fragrances? So like, I love this one, I forget, by Argos. And I love this one by Salt. So if you get an atomizer, all you gotta do is you take the top off, then you take this little thing off, and then you just take, the, the atomizer has this little thing, you just pump it in there, and you can see how filled up it is. You just put half and half, and there you go. You're layering your fragrance. And now it has like a, a little bit more of a sweeter smell. Because um, this is pretty spicy, and this is pretty sweet. So that's just a little hack. I'm sure you guys already know that. You just get little atomizers. Like this one came with this one, but yeah, just get an atomizer, and you could layer your um, fragrance super easily. But I'm going to show you what we got from the thrift store. Come on, let's go downstairs. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog, but I just want to show you what I got from the thrift store. It's very noisy right here in my home. I only got one item. Chippy, I love chippy items. This is it. I like how it has a fluted shape. It's all coming off, so it's very delicate. But I was thinking like I could use this as like a planter, like put a pot inside with some, or even just decor, because I'm kind of sick of all that right there. I'm kind of over, ouch, my back. I, I'm trying to get something on Facebook Marketplace. It's so cute, it's only $125. She's like not responding. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and send them another message. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog there and I'll see you next time. Bye.